As the world is running on softwares, so there is a high chance of success for programmers and engineers who build these applications, right? And in this video, I will be talking about exactly how you can learn programming and become a job ready developer for the year 2024. Now if we talk about IT and technology industry, we always hear the positions like web development, mobile app development, game development, machine learning. AI, data science and much much more. Now with a single college degree, you cannot expect that it will teach you all these and you become the grandmaster of these areas of tech. Instead you need to adopt the t-learning style where you can learn and grasp the basic knowledge about all fields and you need to have a depth in a particular and specific field. Now I have divided this video into 4 steps and you can take it as a complete programming roadmap and each step I talk about will teach you how to become a more stronger and skilled as a programmer and by the end of this video you will get the complete idea about how to start programming as a career. So let's begin with the first step which is to learn a programming language. A programming language allows you to give instructions to a computer to perform some tasks. Every app you interact in your daily routine is built up of using certain programming framework or group of programming languages. Now in market there are a lot of programming languages to choose from. However, Java, C++, Python, C Sharp and JavaScript are the top picks. I recommend if you are just started, learn C++ or Java. Now why I am recommending these instead of JavaScript and Python is because C++ is very close to memory and thus it will just teach you the basics of programming very well. Similarly, Java is called for its object oriented nature and OOPS is considered the way of programming which is very close to real world. So you will get a solid field of programming in both concept wise and understanding. Now every programming language which holds some basic concepts which if you learn them will help you learn the overall programming language. These are the data types, variables, loops, control statements such as if else and functions etc. Now if you are committed to 3 or 4 hours a day then learning a programming language will not take you more than a month. Now as you already know a programming language, it's the time to start learning data structures and algorithms. Now DSA is just an optional step to your programming career. However, as a programmer your job is to solve problems using technology and DSA is what makes you perfect in that. Data structures and algorithms is not a new programming language or a new tech to learn. Instead, it is a concept which has the job to turn your programs into more robust and efficient. You can learn DSA in the same language you have learned in step number 1. However, if you had chosen C++ or Java, it will help you a lot because there is a lot of material available online for these to learn DSA. And DSA is a point in programming which seems to be the most difficult phase. However, this is the time when you are really training your minds to solve complex problems and come in the list of the genius programmers. Now as you have good programming skills, you can start development and proceed with the real world implementation of what you have learned. Now you can pursue any domain in development, however the most popular domains are web development and mobile app development and this is what I am doing right now while teaching you. So to start with web development you need to learn the core technologies that are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now to create complex applications you may need to learn some of the popular frameworks out there in web development, however I recommend that you should learn React as a JavaScript framework and Tailwind for CSS. With React and Tailwind CSS, you can create any application with any complexity. Now, these technologies are meant to create front end applications. However, for back end, you can pick any other programming language like Python or Java. However, I recommend Node.js, which is a JavaScript runtime and is what very similar to JavaScript, except some server side concepts added with it. And for database, you can use MongoDB. Now, to combine this, it becomes MERN stack, which is the most popular popular web development stack to pursue these days. There are other competitors you can explore such as Angular Framework and Django. Here Angular is like React which is a front-end JavaScript framework to build applications faster and learning it is a part of mean stack web development which is another popular stack to pursue a career as a full stack web developer. However, Django is a Python framework that is used to build complete website. So if 
if you are a python programmer you can pick django as your web development framework now if you want to enter into mobile app development you have two options again one is pure development and other is cross platform now the native or pure development includes learning java or kotlin for android and swift or objective c for ios app development however with cross platform you can develop for both android and ios with a single programming language like the most popular cross platform solutions these days are flutter and react native however i recommend react native as it uses the same programming language which is javascript which you already knows in this case as well as it uses react concepts to create an application by the way if you want more in depth video about react web development roadmap or flutter versus react native check out the description box below or click on the recommendations up above this video now at this point you are able to create full stack applications and solving real world problems using programming it's time to make your applications even more interactive and future proof by introducing ai and ml into them now this is the part that you always face in your daily routine with the apps you in interact with like when you are watching a youtube video other videos of your interest are showing up by youtube for you to watch similarly when you are shopping on amazon the product recommendations and this is pretty much common with many applications out there especially as the time goes new applications with new ai features are coming into the market now this is exactly what you can build using machine learning youtube amazon and other applications are using some machine learning algorithms or models to integrate these ai recommendations inside their systems so learning ml is another cool technology that will make you future proof as a great programmer in the coming years now ml is very common in python world as python has a lot of powerful libraries specially designed for machine learning however you can learn machine learning in any other well known programming language if you want finally i want to share a bonus point and that is create as many projects as you can and this is the only way to learn programming also this is what job recruiters are looking for and also it helps you learn and grasp concepts much better so guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this video and find this video helpful at last i want to mention if you are interested in web development and programming be sure to subscribe to this channel also you can support me on patreon as a monthly member where you can get access to all the source code from my videos and other benefits And by the way if you are interested in learning react check out this video